Darris, can you tell me what would have been here in the late 70s when you were around? The vaults themselves were over here to our right and you would have gone down some very narrow, rickety stairs. In fact, just like you imagine, and maybe that was part of of the um, of the glamour of it, really, the sort of seedy glamour, just like you'd imagine going into the, say, the Cavern Club or the Craw Daddy or one of those old sort of 1960s clubs. You've tuned into something that not everybody knows about. This is where it's happening. This is where the real stuff is going on. So you went down there and it was filthy. Nobody ever cleaned it. It was often damp and you know lots of bottles and stuff like that because people are very keen enthusiastic drinkers and not very keen and enthusiastic housekeepers so there was this sort of big space that you would come into which is where they did have gigs for a little while and then you turned right from that sort of bigger open space not much bigger than a, a big living room and then you went into this sort of passageway off which were the vaults and the vaults would have been about five or six foot by 12 or 14 foot and the height at their very height would have been about seven foot so they were kind of quite cramped and um, cozy looking back it's, it's no wonder that a lot of us have tinnitus if you were the same age knowing what you know now would you have still done it oh you bloody bet i mean what a fantastic privilege i just feel so extremely lucky yeah lucky or blessed to have had that experience and I haven't got a clue why. You know, I'm no bloody singer. I'm an actor more than a, more than a singer. And you know, I'm not hitting no great notes up there. There's no great harmonies in it. There's just there's a, a creation of a character who is singing from this place of great pathos. And finally, what do you think the legacy of the vault was? In some ways, I think it was the continuation of something that's been going on in Brighton a lot longer and continues to go on and will go on, which, as I say, is this whole idea of something quite seedy and and dark meeting up with something quite musical, an end of the pier.